What's up guys, JR Raymond back again coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop. And today I'm not really going to teach you anything, I'm just going to kind of get you in the loop, let you understand, let you know what's going on. But most of you saw that I signed a contract with BowlerX.com uh, where I will be running their YouTube channel and still continuing to do all the tips and stuff through here. So if you haven't seen or heard, make sure to go over to BowlerX.com's YouTube page and subscribe over there. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe here. But here's what what's going on. Since then, since that contract, I had to resign from my EBI contract, uh, unfortunately, because I need to be able to give an unbiased opinion about uh, all the bowling balls on the market, including uh, every single uh, brand that is out there that Bowler X supplies to its customers. So I'm gonna be doing reviews for all of the EBI brands still, um, and, and then I'm still gonna be doing, I'm gonna start doing some reviews for the Brunswick stuff, the Radical, the Deviate, the Storm, the Roto Grip, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, and you saw that I did drill a couple of Storm Balls for myself um, to be able to start seeing some different shapes because we know that every brand has its different shape and has a different type of ball reaction. So if we were to put this into perspective on what each brand gives us, let's go with the big three. We've got Brunswick. They are notorious for finding and creating bowling balls that are real, real smooth and early uh, in the front part of the lane, and then they are continuous down lane, meaning they still continue to hook after they make its motion, um, which is really good for playing further right. Um, like I would say, you know, 15 and right, they're really good in there. And then they may struggle a little bit. I'm sure they have a few balls, which we'll find out shortly, but I'm sure they have a few balls that um, allow you to get further left. But they, from what I've seen, uh, the bowling balls, they struggle to get around the corner a little bit down lane. Now, don't take that as a hit. That's just my opinion so far. We're going to find out if that opinion changes because I'm going to be doing reviews on some of the new Brunswick Radical and Deviate balls coming out. So that opinion may change. We don't know. Um, but that's what I've seen over the years, over the last few years coming from them. And then when we go over to EBI, uh, they're fairly similar in that aspect. They have a lot of bowling balls that are much cleaner than the Brunswick balls. Um, but as far as the shape goes, uh, I see a lot of EBI balls go forward, um, meaning they get into the hook phase. Uh, and then before it gets into the roll, it starts to really, it, it makes a jerk and goes forward. It doesn't make a jerk and continue left. It makes a jerk and go forward. So it gives you that real controllable ball reaction. Um, and then when you start to put some strong layouts on those balls, that's when they get really super smooth and you can play further right. So again, I think that's another company. I'd give them up to 20 to 22 at the arrows um, that you can kind of go around the lane a little bit. Um, but you start getting left of that. And for me personally, they started to go too forward down lane um, and kind of deflect a little bit for me. Um, and I wasn't good enough to change my tilt on that stuff. So um, I'm going to use a ton of that stuff still. I'm going to show you a few balls that I'm actually drilling for the summer swing here. Um, but, and then we go to the Storm and Roto Grip side where they uh, have the cleanest covers, in my opinion, of all the brands that bowling balls that are made out of bowling balls. Um, I think they are the cleanest and sharpest motion down lane, which isn't always a good thing. Um, a lot of the times I'm going to stay away from storm stuff when it comes to playing short patterns or on the real, real, uh, real fresh patterns when I don't want a bowling ball to jerk down lane. Uh, I'll fill you in when I, in 2014, when I was throwing a lot of storm stuff, I crossed with Dave Watka and, uh, that was one of my complaints with him was I got a lot of storm stuff in my bag and I don't have anything that's, you know, smooth enough to be able to play the fresh so my my ball reaction early was always rough i was always grinding 202 teen out on tour of those years um and then once game four and five hit and i could go left pff, lights out i had storm balls i could just stand left throw them right and they'd still strike from anywhere so that was really cool and that's why i made you know some runs and shows and made a show that that year using that stuff but then the very next year is when i signed with ebi because i wanted to have more of a variance um but, and the ABI stuff's gotten a whole lot better. They have some cleaner covers that are better down lane. I still think they go forward just a little bit too much. Um, and maybe it's it just me, maybe it's just me. Um, but throwing some of these storm balls I just drilled, they don't go forward, they go, they go left and continue left. So um, I'm probably using 
different terminology than what people would be used to hearing on that stuff, but that is what I see out of them. So if I'm playing super straight, I'm going to be using Brunswick stuff. If I'm playing in the track or in the middle of the lane, I'm going to be using EBI brand stuff. And if I'm playing far left, I'm going to be using Storm and Roto. And until I start to test some of the 900 Global and other companies out there, um, these are what I have in my bag right now. So um, that's kind of what you got. But here, I'll flip this around and you can see what we have being drilled. So I have a precision solid that I'm going to do one uh, pretty much pinned down, kicked out. And I'm going to leave myself enough room, enough uh, room for error here with weight to be able to put a hole in it if I need to. And if I'm going to put a hole in it, it's going to go up and down on this track. If I need it to flare less, I'm going to put it up from this part. If I need to flare more, I'm going to put it down here. So that's that. And then I drilled in a, a new Eruption Pro Blue, uh, about a one and three quarter inch layout to be real smooth, controllable. I took the surface down to about 500, um, a little bit, a little bit of a 500 sheen on it, you could see. But uh, that is going to be my benchmark controllable start piece. And then I drilled a new spare ball. Um, this is my start with Brunswick is uh, a new new T-zone like I had back in the day. That was the spare ball that I use. And then when I get out to the tour stops, I'm going to drill a couple more balls. So yeah, so then when I get out to uh, the, the the tour stops over these next this next month, I'll drill a few Brunswick balls uh, to put in my bag. And maybe I'll talk to some other guys and drill some other balls while I'm out there as well. If they will allow me. They might not let me. And that's okay too because I'm not on staff. So they have to take care of their staff guys first. Uh, and that's perfectly understandable and acceptable. That's how it goes. Um, so take care of your loyal guys first. And, uh, and and if there's anything left over, then, you know, maybe I can drill a ball or two while I'm out there too. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to give everybody an update of what's going on here uh, and why uh, I've made some of the changes as far as bowling balls go. Don't, don't, don't go thinking that I have anything against EBI because that is certainly not true. Uh, I'm going to continue to drill their balls. I'm going to continue to review their balls. I think they have... You know, still, I think they have the best overall um, arsenal from all four bands. Brands, I think they have the best uh, the ability to create a full arsenal out of their brands. Um, but it's nice to be able to add some other brands to fill in some gaps that they may have trouble in. So that's all I've got for you. So hopefully, uh, pay attention to Bowler X their, their YouTube page over the next couple of weeks, as I'm going to be doing a lot of interview type videos with uh with a lot of the players out there their player staff that they have so stay tuned we're going to do some more uh investigating with that and you guys will see some cool content coming up so until next time guys thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe and uh we will see you guys next time see you later